Welcome to a new episode of Home on the Range. We've got a new gun to try out today at the range and we've already been having some fun this morning. We'll show you what we've been shooting so far. All right, well today we brought out the AR-15. I did finally get the old scope figured out. I had to uh, uh, put a little work in on that one because my uh, bore sight really messed it up. And then we've got, of course, as always, we've got our TriStar KRK, which we absolutely love. And we brought slugs for it today. Um, then we've got the old M1A 7.6 Pew. We have our Springfield 9mm, our Springfield 1911 45, the Sig Sauer 45, and then, dun da da, our new. Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum. Big, big, big boom. Then, as always, we've got a plethora of food products to hammer down. We've got some soda or pop or whatever you want to call it, depending on where you're from. And today we are also going to mess around with our not- should be fun let's get started so anybody that doesn't know anything about a 44 magnum so this is a nine millimeter round good size it's a good size round good knockdown power uh, this is a 45 a little bit bigger show you the nine millimeter together with it Decent size, good size rounds. But then you've got the 44 Magnum. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a beast. So, first off, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with our 44 Magnum since we left off last time without having this round trying to go through the not bar and then uh and then we'll uh i think we'll switch over to shooting some other stuff and we'll come back to the rifles after we put some layers together all right sound good all right let's do it well let's see if the 44 go through it New revolver, I know, so apparently you're supposed to load it one behind, so when you lock it, you're ready to go. You guys ready? What do you think? You think it's going to go through it? What do you think, Carissa? I think it's going to go through it, for sure. Yeah? Shooting well, that thing earlier. Well, leave a comment below. Let's see what you think. Firing. Oops. Well, <laughs> that was pretty violent. I actually got hit in the head with something. If I can be entirely honest. What do you think? Yes. What do you think? Do you think it went through? Because that's a pretty decent sized hole. No way. Look at that. It's got a good bulge on it. But it did not go through. How about that? We're seeing if we can find the bullet. Yeah. No? Yeah, here's coming out in pieces. Wow, it really it really tore it up though. It almost fragged it like a like the shotgun did, you know? So, okay. So, now that we've proven that the 44 is not going to go through it, let's add pieces until we stop the rifle. All right? So next we're going to try just a standard AR with a 223 round. 
do you guys think it'll go through? Leave a comment below, let us know. What do you think, Dan? Well, so we stacked two on top of each other at this point. Um, I know they're only duct taped together, but you know, because I'm so bright, I brought the wrong screws and the wrong and the right uh, screw head. So I can't screw them together. So duct tape's where it's at. So I think because they're separated, I think the two, two, three might stop going through that. I think it's, I think there's gonna be enough pushback from the first one that it's gonna, it's gonna bounce it and it's gonna stop it. Okay, well let's find out. All right. Here it is, right dead center. We thought she missed, but I didn't see it. So I doubted her shooting, like a moron. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Oh. Wow. Fail army. Wow. Did not expect that. Hmm. We'll add, uh, We'll add another layer, so we'll go three layers. I just realized something. Let me show you. I ended up shooting right through the table. <laughs> well, it's not like this table is taking a beating or anything already anyway. <laughs> so I literally just found a label on this stuff and I found out that this is level two ballistics wall. So, see there, I'm just going to cover up the name because, you know, no sponsorship. So, Carissa is going to go with three layers. What do you think? I think it's still going to go through. Just because of how far it went through last time at the table carnage and all that i think it's gonna go through yeah i don't know i mean it's only level two so obviously it's only gonna handle i i believe what level two is is it it handles up to large caliber handguns which we've obviously already proven with just one with the 44 so i don't know what do you think well i don't know i think I can't even say. I mean, it, it. I bet you it goes through. Let's what do you get? Out. What do you guys think? Comment below. All right, so let's find out what happened. So this was the first shot with the two. This is the second with the three. So let's find out. Oh, didn't go through. Look at that. It's quite the bulge. It's, it's even a little warm. It's a big dent. Now let's see if it stops a, a seven, six, pew. pew. Now we're going to try out the M1A with the 7.62 or 308 round, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter either way. It's still the same round. So, well. Hi, butterfly. <laughs> there's a butterfly. All this carnage and there's a little bit of beauty flying, flying around through the little piece and beauty. So, we will, um, I don't know. It's a big round. I think it's going through three. I think we're gonna have to put another a whole entire new layer on there before it, it even stops this. If not two more I agree. layers. I think it's gonna go through this one for sure. Yeah. What do you think guys? Comment below.
put your safety forward. Boom. Well, it's clearly this one. That one's just a little bit bigger. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's what I thought was going to happen. Absolutely. I thought for sure it was just going to rip right through. I mean, that's, that's a pretty big round. I think we're going to have to put in or put on at least, at least at minimum one more layer, if not two, before it stops it. I agree. But... Hey, I mean it's still a good wall. It stopped five five six with a or a two two three with a with a three layers. Well, so okay, so here's a here's the only problem I'm running into is since I didn't bring the right screws to screw it together, there's gonna be a gap on there, and I know a lot of you are gonna say, well. Dan, there's those big gap, big big air gaps in there. That's of course it's going to go flying through there. You might be right, but I've got plenty more where this came from, so we can bring the right screws a different day. But for now, we'll just duct tape it the way we have it and go for it. Let's fire up the GoPro. What do you think? I think. That's four layers. And there's air gap, I don't know. Maybe the air gap will make a difference and it will slow it down enough to not let it go through. I think it's gonna go through. Uh, what do you think? I'm pretty well there with you. I think it's gonna rip through. Okay, let's find out. Comment below, let us know what you think. I love that sound. It's just a wonderful sound. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you hit it. Pretty close to the same spot. Maybe I should have gone out of the way. No. I, I wanted it to be close, though, so you can compare. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh. See? Now, like I said, the air gap may have been enough to slow it down. Wow. Let's uh let's cut this off and, and see if see if we find the bullet in it. Wow, look at that. Awesome serious damage there. Oh, step back so I'm not blowing that right in your face. Actually don't feel any metal in there at all. Again, I think it fragged up. no metal in there whatsoever well it's pretty impressive so was the air gap good or was the air gap bad i don't know maybe one of our viewers is like a physics maybe you're person a, maybe you're a not <laughs> or, um genius <laughs> or or manufacturer and you can say something about this stuff so I don't know. That's some pretty good stuff. You want to shoot some fruit? Let's, Let's shoot, shoot some fruit. fruit. So we did say we were going to shoot some fruit today. So Let's shoot some fruit. Fruit veggies. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, is squash is squash technically a fruit or a veggie? I think it's a gourd. Hmm. Things to ponder on home on the range. Yeah, I guess so. Before we blow them up. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> Let us know what it is. Well, I don't know. Funny, a guy that grew up, grew up on a farm doesn't know what a whatever. 
So this is the new gun. Huh. Less than I expected. I think we might need the slug. We'll have to finish that off. I still want to go show what it looks like, but I expected way more. I guess it took a pretty decent chunk. Anybody want some spaghetti? Spaghetti squash? Mm. Animals are going to be happy again today. Oh, that yeah. slid right Grazed through. him. I don't know what kind of squash that is. Dead one? <laughs> Eat me. <laughs> does that That's look a like mouth. it? Does that look like it might still be in there? I don't know. Do you hear it? Or is it seeds? Feel like a little kid again, <laughs> playing in the pumpkin. Yeah. I think it's just the insides, the guts. Now I'm all grody and I'm gonna have to clean my guns. <laughs> well, not that I wasn't going to anyway. Which but... guns? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go with, uh, with some bird mode first. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, I felt that. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> About three seconds after we were done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that's the difference between a 44 Magnum <laughs> and Birdshot. And Birdshot, yeah. You know, and, and the funny thing is, is we even brought slugs down here, but <laughs> I don't think we need them. Maybe for the others. It's like nothing left. That's gonna be a cool slow mo on the old GoPro. <laughs> like we said, we feed the animals. Bite sized pieces. <laughs> and it's all over me. I mean, they're kissing. That's still some pretty serious damage. <laughs> oh, is it gonna go out the other side? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I yeah. liquefied the inside of it. I mean, yeah, that would uh, that would hurt. Where's that? Where Hans going into the table? Going right in, right through. Shotgun. Shotgun. That's what I thought. Here she goes with the KRX. Nothing. <laughs>
So we figured we'd do like a grand finale for you guys. So here's what we're gonna shoot. Let me show you. Goodbye. What watermelon? What cantaloupe? Clear. Uh. The GoPro got dirty. <laughs> He's talking to the GoPro. <laughs> That was my good fun. Now here's Carissa's. And away we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's gonna jam the whole time. Ah, the KRX was all dirty. I don't know what's going on with it. She just decided to start jamming. So we started to, we just decided to change the 7.6 pew. Drop it back. Oh, safe. <laughs> that was insane. That's, I'm going to smell like... We may or may not have to uh, take a shower and clean the firearms. <laughs> wow. I'm make a soda shower. Oh, that was awesome. Well, guys, that's it for this episode of Home on the Range. Thanks for coming out today with us and uh, enjoying the... Uh, fruit cocktails I guess that we made and the uh, soda that we uh, both are, are sticky with and, and have to go home and take a shower so um, if you liked what you saw today please like it share it comment on it and uh, thanks for coming we'll see you soon see y'all next time